Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about some uh, inventions and innovations that happened around this time. And after the Civil War, the United States changed from an agrarian, which means agriculture economy, to an industrial economy. So they go from farming to an economy where they're making stuff, industrial. And some reasons for the economic transformation is there is something called laissez-faire capitalism and special considerations. Uh, and this means land was given to people who built railroads, bridges, roads, and other public works. Public works are things that the public can use. And if you built it during that time, uh, the government gave you land, special considerations. And there was also an increasing labor supply from immigration and migration from farms. Remember, it's no longer an agrarian economy. People aren't farming. So they're moving to cities. There's a huge labor supply in the United States. Lots of people are willing to work. There's also the American possession of a wealth of natural resources. Uh, natural, just things like minerals, so like gold, silver, still, oil, trees. Uh, the U.S. has a lot of this, which you can use for your economy. And they also had navigable uh, rivers, and that just means boats can go on it. I mean, there's some rivers boats can't go on, but the U.S. has a lot of rivers that boats can go on. They're navigable. And it's something called limited liability corporations, which we'll talk about later. Uh, some of the important leaders, uh, these are important people during this time, uh, we're going to learn about. The first one is J.P. Morgan, and he was an important person in banking and finance. So he did a lot of stuff with banks and investments and dealing a lot with money. Andrew Carnegie led the expansion of the American Steel Company. Uh, so this was the name of his company, and he had a lot of steel. We'll do a little bit of reading about him, but... Uh, he changed the economy because he helped make steel so cheap. And this is an example of what steel is, in case you don't know. Um, but people use steel to make uh, trains, to build uh, buildings, but steel is used in a lot of stuff. Like this building right here is being made out of steel. Another leader is Cornelius Vanderbilt, and he was a leader in the railroad industry. He owned a lot of railroads, uh, but that made transportation easy. And John D. Rockefeller, he was a leader in the oil industry. Now we're going to learn about some inventions or innovations during that time. Uh, in, I'm going to kind of skip over this because we're going to talk about it. Uh, the first invention is something called a corporation or limited liability. Uh, this was an innovation. And this made it so people who own a business would not lose money. If the business wasn't dead, which means owed money and went out of business, the people who own the company would not owe money. It was safer to own a business. So if I start a business and tomorrow, for whatever reason, the business closes and I owe people lots of money, uh, I would actually be safe. My house would be safe. Things I own would be safe. Uh, but my company, it's a separate entity. So my company would be in trouble, but I wouldn't. It made it safer for people to own businesses and start businesses. Next one is called the Bessemer steel process. This uh, was an invention, and it made it cheap and easy to make steel. Uh, before this process, it was very expensive and took a long time to make steel. Uh, but the Mes Bessemer steel process, uh, it was a very fast way for steel to be made. And it also made it cheap. Uh, there's something called the light bulb in electricity. Uh, this was invented by Thomas Edison. And he not only discovered the light bulb, but he discovered a way to use electricity for power. So you guys use electricity for your cell phones, for your computers. Uh, I mean, we have lights in our classroom. It was a big invention because people were now able to work at nighttime. They can work in factories. Uh, so there was a lot. People were able to work a lot more and produce a lot more. Another important invention is the telephone. Uh, this was invented by Alexander Graham Bell. And this made it for easy. This made it easy for people to communicate with each other, especially over long distances. Uh, it used to be the Morse code, if you remember, where people push with their fingers. Uh, but now there is a telephone, and this is what the original telephone looked like. It's a lot different now, but that's what it used to look like. Another important invention is the airplane. And this was invented by the Wright brothers, and it made travel easier, cheaper, and faster. So people can now 
go from one part of the country to another in a short amount of time. Uh, people can travel to different parts of the world. Uh, and this was invented by the Wright brothers. Uh, there's something called the assembly line. And this was an innovation uh, invented by Henry Ford. An assembly line is where there is a line of workers making a product and they are only responsible for making one part of the product. And you don't have to know how to make a product, just one part of it. And this made it faster, easier, and cheaper to make items in a factory. So this is an example of an assembly line. Uh, like One person's job, all they do is do wheels. So all day long, they just do wheels. Another person on the car maybe would do the steering wheel. Another person does the door. But the whole day, you just have one job. And you don't actually have to know how to make a car. You just have to know one part. And people start to have a free time. They're making money. So there's an emergence of leisure, which is like relaxing activities, things people do for fun. Uh, people start going to sporting events, such as baseball. Uh, there's something called vaudeville shows, which these are just a, a type of show where people kind of dance and they have fun and sometimes they're comedy. Uh, and the amusement parks and fairs also become popular. This isn't an amusement park. Maybe you guys have heard of Hershey's Park or Disneyland or Disney World. Uh, those are amusement parks. Uh, around this time, uh, this is when sporting events became popular. This is when uh, there was no TV yet or movies, but when shows became popular and also uh, amusement parks and fairs. All right, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, we have a lot of work to do today, so make sure you're focused.